February 7th, 2024. The rivers have finally fallen into shape. So let's go over gear. After watching my steelhead archive series, I decided to break out some of my old methods. I used to primarily fish floats and jigs, and I just used straight monofilament. Some people might disagree with that, but I tell you, I used to do really well with just straight mono. This is 10 pound test XL, and this is a fix, a little fixed float with a little post right here. And I've got a number 135 Nightmare jig on here. This is my 1143 E6X. It's a nine and a half foot medium light, and I've got a Vanford 3000 on there. So that's gonna be rod one. Of course, I got my bead rod. This is the 1145 E6X. It's a nine and a half foot, but it's a medium heavy. If you're curious about these, I actually did a video on rod transportation. I just don't like my stuff banging around while I'm driving. And you should always set your rods up before you get to the river. You don't want to waste any time. So the river's in good shape, but there's still a lot of water. So I'm going with an AF5 slip float by Hawken. I've got the Tangle Free Method half ounce stick weight, 30 inches of Seeger STS. And I've got a 14 millimeter Sweet Pink Cherry and a number two Blood Run Skeena hook on this one. And this one, was inspired by my friend Jim, who's been knocking them dead with spoons. I didn't get an opportunity to rig the spoon hook up like he does. He actually uses Dacron to attach the, the hook. I'm really intrigued by that, but I just didn't have time to get that set up. So this rod here is an old rod. I had to get into the back of my, my uh, rod rack to get to it because I haven't used it in so long. It's an old GL2G Loomis. It's a 1025, eight and a half foot, medium heavy. I've got 30 pound Power Pro on here and I've got about six feet of, this is 15 pound STS Seeger fluorocarbon. I've got a Pentac, this is a BC Steel, it's a two fifth ounce and a tech set hook. I have this rigged up, I have a split ring underneath and I have a barrel swivel and then the hook. That way if you get something hooked, it can't use the pry bar method to get it unhooked. So I'm gonna, fish that today. I've got an old Shimano Corrado on here. Just a little bit ago as I'm driving through, I saw one of Jacob's friends, Cody. So I'm actually going to go back and try to find him and see if he wants the camera up today. We haven't fished together, but he's a nice dude. And so I'm going to go see if I can find him and see if he wants to fish with me. So I'll see you down on the water. Well, have you done any good? Yeah. They've got to be in here. I've only fished it once and it's been New Year's Day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wasn't that New Year's Day? Yeah. God, time is going by fast. No, I saw you. I call it a telephone pole hole where that big rock is right there. And I drove down and I was going to fish where I ran into you and Spencer. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go see if he wants to fish. I don't want to crowd you, but I thought I'd just make the offer. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, well, if there's gonna be somebody sore lip of fish today, it's gonna be you. Are you okay being on camera? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what you fishing? What bead? I had a sweet pink cherry on, but that's a Dylan Rush Extina Pink. That's my favorite bead. Okay. What is it a 14, 16? Yeah, 14. 14, okay. Where do you catch around here? I've never heard the fish before. Well, so I mean, they can be in here, but the magic spot is, well, that tree's almost gone. See that one tree right over there? As it kind of goes around, there's a shelf that kind of goes down here, and they're kind of, there's a trough that runs right through there. But pretty much anywhere down from where your float is right now. If you want, you can just hop in my truck. I'm just gonna 
leave this out. Let's do this one. So I buy a new GoPro every year and I usually just use my advertising money from YouTube to buy them. All right, so are you running? Yep. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna start with the jig. Fifth ounce Pentac World of Weights. Yeah, that's right. All right, you, you, you cast first in here. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this nightmare jig though. I'm nervous with that. Do you run a, you run a uh, eighth ounce jig? Yep. Well, what I, te what I do is if like the water's super high, I'll run a sliding float with the one eighth ounce jig, but if the water's super low, I'll run a quarter ounce jig with the fixed float. It makes it so much easier to cast. And I, I really don't think it makes a difference with the size. I mean, I catch a lot of fish on a quarter ounce jig. Come on. Straighten up your act down there. My dad caught his first steelhead here probably like in the late 70s. On the other side of that in the head with a spinner. I have a picture of me holding it. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm like probably six or seven years old. I can see it. Oh my gosh. You're not losing stuff, you're not fishing. Guess I'm not fishing, I haven't lost a bead rig yet. See what I get? Making fun of you? You snagged up? I was like, I haven't lost one yet. I guess that's not saying much about me. Well, at least I got my weight back. Ooh, it's torn up though. This is getting out of hand, folks. I need to bob her down. Yep, nice, snagged. Cool, that's awesome. Oh, you're kidding. Danny and I are doubled up. <laughs> <laughs> this is doubled up, baby. Doubled up on Mother Earth. Hours and hours. I didn't have one hang up until I started talking about it. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Didn't even get a full cast in on that bead. Oh, look at that. It's 
Vent out. High risk, high reward. Oh boy, this is pumping. Usually I can get out to that rock. Where would I end up if I fell in? <laughs> I don't know. Rod add food. Pick one at Honk Hole. nervous. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I thought I lost it. I did lose it. It popped off and then got me hung out. Oh, you're kidding me. Broke me off. How'd it feel? Felt like a steelhead. Oh, I could tell it was a steelhead. God dang it. Well, you worked one up in here. There's gotta be another one. I jinxed myself. You know, I've, I've only broken off like three steel in my life. Well, it's just like I said earlier. I haven't even lost a bead today, and like two seconds later, I snagged. My heart's broken, I think. Yeah, they'll break your heart. There's no doubt about that. My battery died there. Oh, okay. I was just gonna ask if we should uh, change that out. We both got. got it was on the ledge. We got jeans. Jeans. I like, couldn't get it off the ledge. How many batteries do you have? Yeah, like a dozen probably. I've actually probably got 
I probably got 25, but I've got probably a dozen of the white ones. They're called the Enduros. They have a little deeper battery life. <laughs> I just had a trout hit my bobber. Hopefully I caught that on video. All right, let me give this a try, a spot a try. Oh, there we go. Cody. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my God. That's a good fish. This thing just come off? Um, yeah, just, uh, you can just take it off. Oh my God. Right? Yeah, just, you can see on the side, I have it clipped in. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I'm gonna let it run. Go, go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Now keep in mind, this was the first time we fished together. He wasn't familiar with my net system. Okay, here we go. Now we got him where we can work with him. Yeah. He's kind of rubbing me on that ledge though. We got a 9-4. We got a 9-4, guys. All right. Okay, it's kind of rubbing me on this leg right here. Man, that's a big fish. It feels like it. Romer. You want me to get below ya? Um, let's try it right there. I think I can swing him there. Oh, oh, oh. It's a hatchet fish. Shut up. It is. I think I can get it right here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Can you net him right there? Oh my god, this is a hot fish. Come to daddy. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm shaking as much as you are. Is it a hatchery? No, it is a wild. wild. Oh, it is a wild. Tiny okay. adipose. Okay. Nice fish, Barry. <laughs> God, that was insane. Brother. Yeah. He's out. You got a phone? Yeah. Oh my God, that was a wild ride, was wasn't it? Crazy. <laughs> I was so glad you were with me because the way he ran into that. You ready? Yep. God, the adipose is like clear. I don't care about this shirt. Oh, wow. Perfect. 
money. That is oh. a stud. Oh my god, it took off like screw you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that was teamwork. When he ran through that, I was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> oh. Sweet pink cherry. Golden. Not even frayed. That's nice. Nice job. <sighs> Thank you. Well, card up there. It was it was way up in the hole. Did you see where yeah. I when I yelled at you? It yeah. was like I don't know if you've seen this at low water, but it kind of widens up and then it comes into that chute. It was right before the chute. Okay. I'm gonna go retire. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, that thing was a fighter. What's that? It's weird that like all of a sudden they're biting. Well, you know, or what? there's something too. You know, you've probably read where as the water warms up when, when you got a day like this where the sun's on the water, it heats up maybe even a degree or two, it could turn them on. Dang. That thing tore you up. <laughs> God. Kayakers. Got him, Barry. Barry. Oh, boy. Do not know it's hooked yet? Uh, I hooked it on the reel end. I wasn't even watching. Oh, really? Yeah. We are on a heater, boys. We are on a heater. <laughs> that ate crap right there. He jumped pretty high out of the water. Pretty cool. He's like, I didn't like that net. That was so crazy. I literally just reeled, like I was done with my float. I think it should be fine. Damn. Kung Fu steelhead. <laughs> Jiu Jitsu moves on me. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> this should be it. It's 
hit the net three times. I don't think I've ever shanked it that bad. He deserves to get off now. No way. This is there's no way that he's not freaking <laughs> off you. This is K and B bloopers. K and B bloopers. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, brother. Hey. Yeah, that is a natural fish. I don't know, it's your car. <sighs> That's a nice fish. I'll probably just let it go. Okay. Pretty. That's a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, he was about ready to pop off too. Alright, go ahead and slowly release it. <laughs> How we didn't do that? It's crazy. Oh my God, what, fourth time is the charm? <sighs> fourth time in the net? <laughs> and you're soaked. He soaked oh, you. Oh, that's okay. It actually feels good on my arm. Oh. <laughs> They're snapping now. Okay. I gotta go put another piece of lead on. <laughs> oh my word. If I could doctor that footing up or that footage up, but I don't think I will. I'm like, that's hilarious. millimeter sweet pink cherry on here. This is a number four tail apple. Just trying these out. I noticed that the tail out hook is a little bigger, a little bigger gap than the skeena, but the wire is a little heavier, so I'm going with a four, whereas I'd normally be running a two. Well, maybe it's just a trout. Might be a trout. I don't know. It might just be a big trout. Oh my god, look at this trout. Well, that's a good sized trout. Look at that thing. Blood run, man. You got the blood run. Man, I can't get There we go. Man, I thought that was a steel Let's get 
long is it? I have no idea. I have not been paying attention at all. Oh, 2.30. What are you doing Friday? Uh, Friday, Friday, Friday. What's tomorrow? Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. All right, well, that I'm gonna probably fine. head down to the boat ramp and, and change out there so I can rinse all my stuff off if you wanna go down there. But um, other than that, thanks again. That was awesome, yeah, man. Yeah, it was. Two for three. Yeah, hey, that's great. And we should have been zero for three. I oh, know. <laughs> and I take the point for a lot of that. Oh my goodness.